Now, this grant is geared specifically at targeting cervical cancer. That's screening, education, testing, on-site syndromic management, to at-risk women from rural communities. Because sometimes you realize that women in the city have more access to medical services and testing. So you find women in rural areas would mostly take it as a back seat, so they neglect themselves to some extent. So at the Cancer Society, along with our partners, our regional partners, the HCC, the American Cancer Society, and UNESCO, as we have received a grant earlier this year from UNESCO, with the same initiatives in line. So we hope to combine these two grants that we can meet almost all at-risk and rural women in the country of Belize. When you talk about targeting at-risk women, is there a number that you're hoping to target? Yes, well, both grants combined would give us the opportunity to screen and treat almost 1,200 women in the country of Belize. Presently, with the HCC grant, funded by the American Cancer Society, we're directly targeting 500 women for, treat, for screening and treatment, which will be 200 from the Belize Rural Valley. So we're getting assistance from the Ministry of Health with their local counterparts, the Central Health Region, and we hope to roll out this campaign right after the Easter. So if you're in the Ladyville, Lord's Bank area, look out for us, we're coming. And the service will be free. Looking at the number of people with cancers in Belize, how significant is this project in terms of lowering that number? Well, it's very, very significant. It's very close to our hearts because, you know, we normally focus on breast cancer, we try on prostate. So we have realized on a national level that cervical cancer and the HPV virus is becoming rampant in our young people. We have noticed that the young teenagers are having so many outbreaks with the HPV virus. And if we don't treat it and we don't educate them properly how to take care of themselves, by the time they're 20-something, they have stage 3, 4 cervical cancer, which is a completely treatable cancer. It's one of the cancers that we